Hello everyone and welcome back to the second day of Interactive Tooling Days. Yesterday was a great day, full of insights and knowledge. Hope that you took advantage and appreciated the content. Today we have a great day and we'll be talking about mold and dye industry and solid carbide end mills. Curious? Let's dive in. Let's have a perspective about the impact of mold and dye industry in the world of cutting tools. According to the recent industry report, the 2022 market size for mold and dye tools stand at $1 billion worldwide. The mold and dye tool segment accounts for approximately 5% of the cutting tools market. As we compare the mold and dye market with the rest of the cutting tool industry, we understand and recognize the unique challenges and opportunities each segment presents. But what is even more exciting is the potential future growth of this market. The mold and dye tools market will experience an increased market of 29% by 2027. So what drives this growth and what does it mean for the industry? As we can see in the pie chart, China, United States and Germany have a dominant position in the mold and dye industry of cutting tools consumption. But what we believe that we should focus more is the split of consumption by type of operation. In this pie chart, we are able to see turning tools that represent more than 40% of the tools consumption in the mold and dye industry. These are followed followed by milling with 36%. Another relevant point is that we should highlight is a distribution of tools consumption, not only by application, but by type. In this analysis, we are able to understand that indexable and solid had a consumption almost equal in the past. But this situation tends to change with indexable solution gaining more market share than solid carbide. Known despite of that, we can see the relevance of solid carbide tools in the worldwide cutting tools consumption. But let's waste no more time and go directly to what matters most and dive in in the amazing world of mold and dye industry with the help of Luis Barbosa, our area manager. Luis, the stage is yours. <laughs> Hello.
Hello, my name is Luis Barbosa. I'm the sales area manager for the USA, Canada, Scandinavia, Baltics and Balkans. I'm in Palpit since 2016. I started as a salesperson in the center and south of Portugal, a large molden dye cluster. I'm here today to tell you about the challenges and solutions of machining a complex part like a mold or a dye. Portugal has a globally recognized mold industry, being one of the areas of metalworking with the highest expression in the country. Because of its proximity, Palbit has the possibility to identify and solve some of the challenges of this industry, together with local partners. It is estimated that the cost of tooling in the overall cost of a mold for the mold maker to represent only 3%, while the cost of machining occupation represents between 25 to 30%. So it is all about productivity and choosing the right tool. In this presentation, I will use a generic part of a mold as a guideline. I will touch on the main types of operations and present some of the milling solutions that Palbit offers for each operation. I will deliberately not go into the drilling solutions in this talk, leaving the topic for future events. Let's talk about face milling, where it all begins. Key objective here, remove material, fast. So, problems with slag on your block? No problem. Go deeper in depth of cut. With SNHX16, you can go up to 8.5 millimeter. Okay, that creates limitations on your machine power? Okay, be gentle with the depth of cut and increase the feed to maximize the metal removal rate. Consider ONHX06. Can go up to 3.8 millimeters and you will maximize the number of cutting edges. It's all about balancing the depth of cut and the linear feed to maximize, once again, material removal rate. The 90845 and 91245 lines have the versatility to mount square or octagonal inserts in the same pocket with 8 or 16 cutting edges, respectively. It also allows the use of ONHX wiper inserts to improve surface finishing. With a range from 32 to 250 millimeters and multiple ship breakers and grades, it will definitely cover your needs. Let's talk about eye feed. Key objective, once again, remove material, fast. Roughing is the first approach to the final geometry. The faster you do it, the better. In this industry, the challenge is constant. Typically, you don't get to machine two identical parts. And to provide a, sol a complete solution, the diversity of tools is key. In public lineup, you can find heavy roughing, positive, four cutting edges, square insert. Roughing, negative, four cutting edge insert. Roughing, positive, two cutting edge small insert designed for very small pockets. The diversity is for sure guaranteed. Let's go deeper in the range of IFID solutions. In the positive square SOEW line, we have a huge range of diameters from 20 to 160 millimeters that suit your needs regardless of the mold size you typically produce. Multiple edge preparations and grades are available, but what are the advantages of choosing a suitable tool? Let's look at a customer's test. Real use test reports can help you improve your solution and optimize cutting data. Where is the improvement here? the customer was able to migrate from three cutting edges to a solution of four cutting edges with no compromises on performance. Basically means 33% savings in cost. 
Did you know that you can check test reports like this one on Palvit Tech Center? Okay, let's move to another successful Tetrafit solution. In the negative four edges Tetrafit line, we have a range of sizes from 16 to 100 millimeters to choose from. Multiple grades are available to match the material and the operation. More pockets per diameter mean higher linear feeds. However, also demands more from the machine. So don't forget, always check the machine while choosing the tool. Again, what are the advantages of choosing a suitable tool? Let's take a look at another customer's test. Again, 33%. What does that mean? Two things. On one side, means cost saving through longer tool life, but also room to improve the cycle time and save machine time. Don't forget, test reports on Palbit Tech Center. For the small pockets on your mold, Palbit also has the solution. The Line Pro positive with two cutting edges and HF ship breaker provides versatility on cutting diameter starting from 10 millimeters. Since it is a small positive insert, we were able to fit a high number of pockets per diameter. You know it already, higher linear fits. At this moment, the majority of the unnecessary material were transformed into chips. From now on, the accuracy of the operations increase and the operations are now semi-finishing or finishing. There is not much material left to remove. The finishing quality and tolerance play a greater role from now on. Let's divide it in shouldering and profiling. In both, we can find semi-finishing to finishing operations. Let's start with shoulder milling then. The objective here, good surface finishing. On the shoulder milling, we will bring to this talk new kind of tools, the solid carbide tools. I will start with the interchangeable line and then we will jump to the solid carbide. I will be highlighting two very versatile lines of interchangeable inserts. First, the Line Pro, probably the most versatile line on our range with options for iFit, semi-finishing, finishing, fine finishing, and solution for non-ferrous materials. All these options are generally available in multiple grades with a range of diameters from 10 to 125 in three insert sizes. Do you want to optimize cost with four cutting edges on shoulder milling? We also have a solution for that. With the line plus, you can enjoy some of the good points of the Line Pro, but double the cutting edges. Looks like a great deal, right? Yeah, it is. However, everything comes at a price, and the finishing quality is the price to pay here. Being a negative insert adds limitation that restrain the possibility of fine finishing. It depends on your requirements for surface quality. You might be thinking, what about solid carbide? No worries, we've got you covered there as well. We didn't intact solid carbide cutters. Now you will have the pleasure to meet Pedro and Guilherme, application engineers in Palbit technical department. They will present Palbit solid carbide and mills. You will be in good company. Thank you, Luís. Now, about trocoidal milling. Trocoidal milling is a dynamic method of high-speed machining developed to increase the tool lifetime while also increasing productivity. This method is mostly used for slotting and consists of multiple circular cuts going forward. When using conventional machining strategies, most end mills can only mill their cutting diameter in depth. With trocoidal strategy, end mills can work up to three times their cutting diameter. 
highly increasing productivity. Lean Intech and Mills are optimized to take full advantage of this cutting strategy. Trochoidal milling is a method of machining that has low radial depth of cut. That allows for high speeds and a high axial depth of cut. That results in less heat being generated. The lower AE allows for higher AP, meaning that the entire length of the cutting edge can be utilized. This ensures that heat and cutting forces are distributed along the tool's cutting edge, rather than concentrated on a single section. For those reasons, cutting forces are very low and tool lifetime is increased. With these factors, machining operation efficiency is also increased. Comparing the same diameter tools and both tools removing the same volume, with trochoidal milling it is possible to machine bigger surface area, therefore taking less time to finish the machining operation. Now you have the opportunity to see the Integ in action. Hello again. Hope you enjoyed getting to know Dinning tagline with Pedro. It is time to move on for our last operation in this journey, the profile milling. Key objective, good surface finishing. Once again, in profiling, the utilization of solid carbide, end mills and interchangeable inserts will be present from well-known products with lead angles from 95 degrees and 2 to 6 cutting edges to state-of-the-art single insert proposals, Palbit has everything you need to finish your surface. Do you need to identify your parts? Palbit's center and chamfer tools will allow you to engrave the ID, prepare skews, countersinks and chamfer edges with interchangeable inserts. So, at this moment, the mold is almost finished. And so are we. But first, let's take a look at a mirror-like surface you can get from our W Pro. Palbit state-of-the-art line W Pro will surprise you with outstanding surface finishing. With two kinds of inserts fitting in the same tool holders, from diameters 8 to 20 millimeters, you can finish surfaces with corner radius using the backdraft double CL insert. Copy finishing surface with ball nose type double CR inserts. And the solid carbide tool holders will ensure you that no vibrations will spoil the finishing quality. Now it's time for Guillermo and Pedro again. They will show you how profiling solid carbide solutions. Palbit's meaning tech high precision tools are the right solution for micro milling operations. These end mills are designed to machine small parts or small details with diameters going as low as 0.4 mm. You can find different neck lengths to allow for a longer reach when needed. This line is ideal for high precision work. Now, I will tell you about Radin tag line. These end mill cut profiles are composed by two or three radiuses. Radial segment end mills come in a variety of designs and configurations to suit different machining applications. These tools are used to achieve the fastest cycle times in the finishing operations of complex 3D parts 
in mold making, aerospace industries, among others. To use Radin Tech's full potential, you will need a simultaneous 5-axis machine and good knowledge of CAM software. They can be used for profiling operations, semi-finishing and finishing. One of the advantages of Radin Tech is their ability to achieve complex shapes and contours with high precision and accuracy. The larger radius on this end mill simulates a larger diameter ball nose. By replacing a ball nose end mill with Radin Tech, you can increase the stepovers and simultaneously reduce scalloped height, thus getting a higher quality surface finish while using the same cutting speed. This will help you reduce cycle time and increase productivity in hard-to-machine materials such as hardened steels, stainless steels and titanium, as they can require low cutting speeds. This is an example of Radin Tech working. In this example, the finishing operation took less than one-third of the time than with a ball nose, but in some cases we can finish the parts up to 80% faster with this approach. These graphs allow for a better comparison between ball nose and radin tag from the previous test report. You can see that the roughness finish was significantly better. Here, we have a real use test in one of our clients, which got improvements of 57% in processing time. Finally, we are excited to share that we are working on a new geometry of radin tag, the lens geometry. Working in a similar way as the barrel-shaped end mills shown before, the lens-shaped end mill is the best option to increase productivity in the finishing of free-form surfaces with low slope angles. In these applications, this solution can be used in a three-axis machine. Pulvit range of solutions include much more than what was shown here today. Reach out to us for more information. On this presentation, we covered a lot, from face milling, eye feed milling, shoulder milling, to profile milling. Palbit has many options for your needs, either indexable or solid carbide options. Solid carbide lines are ideal for operations on smaller areas and to work on tight spots of your workpiece. Indexable options have a wide range of applications, starting in face and high feed milling to make sure that your piece is ready to be made into a nice mold, as well as shoulder and profile milling operations to achieve the desired shape and the best finishing on your mold's parts. Considering our wide range of available products and incoming new solution, we strongly believe that Palbit is the right partner to increase your productivity. With this, we will consider our mold's journey concluded. Hope you enjoyed. Do not forget to visit our website and tech center to know more about us and our products. At Palbit, we eager to receive your feedback. Fascinating! Wow! The world of cutting tools is just fascinating. I can't believe that it's already over for today. Tomorrow we'll talk about turning super alloys and our patented solution DOMX. I'm confident that we'll see each other again tomorrow. But for today, that's all. Thank you for your presence and have a great day!